Hooray, hooray, it's Typo's birthday! Good morning! Today is Typo's birthday and it's also quite hot. It's, well not now, it's, it's a whopping 12 degrees now. We're expected to get to low 30s today, so we want to get a move on. First thing on the agenda is we need to feed the fat lambs. We did have a fair whack of rain last week which has had the grass that was still alive spring back just a little. We're here at the first fat lamb paddock. These guys are coming along well, size-wise, as well as um, coming over for food. As you can see, they haven't ran away straight for the hills. Good sign. It seems to be being just a little bit sticky this morning, which is quite annoying, however, will open at any moment, I swear. Just a moment. It just needed to warm up its little wheelies. Yes, okay, it's working now. Excellent, fantastic. Let me get the front bin open and then I will talk to you about the game plan. Game plan for today is get everything done early because you can't really work sheep when it's hot. Now they do obviously in higher up Australia. However, these sheep here are not climatized to 30 degrees. Whereas those sheep, that's a normal day. Slug, it's her birthday today. She's turning six, aren't you, darling? Yes. And I got an early Christmas present from Liam. It is a big boy, that one. So we're going to be nice and moist and slug. Doesn't seem like they've totally grasped the concept of food. Trailer equals food. Um... I'm gonna hopefully drive around here a little bit longer and hope one, I only need one brave soldier. These ones at the back here. Oh, they're, they're into it. I'm just gonna shoot around the rest of the paddock. I'm just gonna shoot around the rest of the paddock, bring the rest over to the grain, and then we're going to the next mob. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna talk about some comments. These are good comments, not bad comments. A lot of you are concerned about my mental health because I'm responding to hate comments. Don't worry about it. We're all good. I was a basketball referee when I was 14 or 15 through to when I was 18 or 19. I am water off a duck's back. I'm just responding with the same level of respect that people give me. People want to ask questions, I'm happy to answer them, but do so respectfully. Don't accuse me of whatever you want to accuse me of that week. Munchies! There's a few stages to lambs eating grain. The first stage is they want nothing to do with it and they'll run to the other end of the paddock. So the second stage is them kind of just letting me drive through the paddock, them ignoring me. And when you're in that stage, you need to kind of push them towards the grain when you're after you've fed them out. And then they learn that when I'm in the paddock, that means food. Stage three is them looking at you and actively watching you come over for grain, but after you've fed it. So there, that's the stage they're in now. Stage four is when, is what the other paddock's in right now is where they hover just a little bit away from you, wait for you to start driving away and then they all pounce. And then stage five is what our ewes are and they, they, they desperately follow the grain bin everywhere. Don't know what you're gonna do with that information, but you're welcome for it. <laughs> That's one of my more useless bits of information. <laughs> Additionally, our second lot of rams went out this week uh, we put them in with the 380 prime line use. So they've been, um, Ram's been put in there. Uh, I saw a comment, see if I can find it. If I can't, it won't be here. Uh, asking how many Rams service are you? So we work off of, the tw for the eight weeks that you're meant to have Rams in with the use to match their cycles. Um, we work off of a ram will service anywhere between 80 and anywhere between 60 and 80 ewes each. You can go on the more conservative side if you've got a lot of rams. If you don't, obviously you'll hope your ram services more ewes. These lambs here are the big ones off of the oats. They're waiting here for us to harvest, I think the barley crop they'll be going on, which we should be harvesting today. Yay! These lambs here, um, most roughly weigh um, high 30s, low 40s. 
So almost ready to go, not quite. There are a couple over there I'll go and grab as well, bring them over. Over you pop, over there. Go to the group, go to the group. Hello ma'am, can you move, move? I do need to get in the gateway please. Thank you, right. Are you ready for your breakfast, my ladies? Right. Is the grain coming out? I agree. It's not. Why isn't the grain coming out? Oh, now it's coming out the back. Come out the front. Is it coming? Yes, it is. Excellent. Eat, my pretties. Eat. Gate is shut. These are the next what, lambs that are going to be fed. I've got these ones, then the ray paddock, and then the next one after that. Um, this paddock here was sown yesterday as a summer crop. I didn't sow it. Uh, Kev did it. I don't know if I've previously mentioned this, but it's good to get the lambs eating when it's going to be a really hot day in the morning. So they're eating, 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 eating in the morning. And then when it starts to get really hot, around 12 o'clock and through to like five-ish. They're sitting down, they're digesting, they're comfortable. Um, they can find a nice uh, spot in the shade under a tree or, or next to the dam is another popular spot where they like to sit. It's just waiting for me to go past with the grain. <laughs> then they'll come over. There you go. Um, after five o'clock when it starts to cool back down, they'll come back out from wherever they're hiding and munch 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 again we're in the rape now we do have some wire weed in here not great but it is what it is the sheep eat it so no point spraying it out it's almost 10 o'clock we're sitting on 17 degrees i'm just about to slip slop slap wherever my hat is can i have my hat please birthday slug the truck's out with the stock crate on show you the stock crate while i'm here this stock crate is three decks it fits about 320 fat lambs on it deck one deck two deck three it fits around 200 ewes when ewes go on it birthday slug are you a birthday slug are you a birthday slug this paddock here was sown to a summer crop yesterday as well these prime lines will be going into that back paddock. Those prime lines there will be coming into this paddock. And then we've got to get sheep from over there up into the shed. So that's what we're going to be doing now. These are the sheep we're moving. Most of them are down at the dam by the looks of it. Um, we're going to be pushing them up behind us. Hopefully they cooperate. I know they look dead. They're, they're just asleep. Don't worry, watch this. Bipo's <laughs> just moving those ones up there, which I'm quite happy with. Oh my God, there's so many in the fucking meat. I'm gonna have to get them out. There's so many of them. What the fuck? I found the leak. Jesus Christ. Do I want to shove my hand down a bubbling hole? Oh, well, remember how I said we have a leak in the troughs and we can't find it? The fucking pipe split. I found our leak. That explain. I was gonna say the water looks fucking weird. I didn't think we had that much rain. We have been looking for that leak for months, <laughs> and it's only just we found it now because of those prime lines. Everything happens for a reason. I've just called Jackson. He's on his way over now to fix it. He's oh, it's a float. It's floated away. The string rots away eventually and comes out. Jackson's just that Ute over there. He's been looking for this leak all week and it's, I just find it funny that I've stumbled upon it. I'll chuck that in there and Jackson can tie that on when he gets here. Let's get these prime lines out of here, get the other prime lines in and then... Oh, that fence needs to be fixed. Fuck. 
They'd wrecked this part, so he put another post in. But now they've pulled this staple out and pulled it out of all the, um, oh, the, what's the fucking word for them? I can't remember the very moment. Let me fix this, Hanks. Bring the sheep up to the corner. Uh, slugs over there somewhere dealing with them. Just gonna grab these ewes too. Slowly push them into the corner and then through the gate. Then we'll bring the other ones I think are gonna be quite easy to come through because I constantly battle with them trying to get them not to come through when I'm feeding them. So it shouldn't take shouldn't take much to get them out. Just had a bit of an issue. Typo did take care of it. Um, one of the ewes will try to push past her because they don't want to go through the gate, which they came through yesterday, but it's a bit hard for them. Um, there she is there coming up behind them, doing good slug work. On to the corner, to the corner. Hopefully slug stays put. Right, Topper's doing well. There we go. Through the gate, my dudes. Right, ladies, let's go. Next paddock. I think we've got them mostly under control for the most part. Um, the spotty, the brown and white spot uh, ewe lamb is in this paddock. She'll be in here somewhere. She doesn't really look brown anymore. She kind of just has slightly rang a wall. There she is there, that back one there, with her ears down. Right, ho, 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 ho. Come on, pew, 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 Job done. They're already heads down, bums up into the grass. We, type on me, are on our way to grab the lambs and bring them up. It is currently at 27 degrees. So we can still walk the sheep over. Typo out for a run. She might go for a bit of a moisten in the dam. Typo, great. Go. This just arrived, so it looks like we are good to go. Um, not sure what they've found there, but it's something exciting. That's how a professionally trained work dog works anyway. Typo can read the sheep a lot better though. Hoping they go right, not into the crop. They're going the wrong way. Uh, the cross is averted, they are going the right way now. Around and then through, and then hopefully into the shed. I think we're taking the fat ones off. I'll do that after lunch though, because I'm hungry. She needs to be moistened, I assume. Yeah. Here what we're doing is we are splitting them up um, when you can't leave lambs in large groups in open spaces or they will literally smother and kill each other. We are harvesting, the harvest is currently going, lambs taking over dad's, dad in it so dad's coming down to do the sheep. I'll just go up and see what the vibe is. So this is the front, these are the little teethies that cut it off. Then it goes into there. I'm just getting in. We're taking everyone back down to the shed now. We're back in the shed. I'm just setting up. What we're doing is we're weighing these lambs that we've bought in. So anything over 40 kilo is going into the rape. Anything under is probably going onto the barley stubble. We're going to have to find somewhere else for them to go because we've just seen it. So we'll just pull this out pop it into place and then we'll get started. It would be nice to have an auto drafter, however, that's just expensive for any drafting bag. And you slot this against that. We've got bolts that hold the scales in place. They just slot in the bottom. 
this gate comes out and sits there like so. This is the phone battery pack. This doesn't have anything to do with it. So this is the scales. Turn it on to automatic. Sheep go in, it weighs them. Then if they're over 40 kilo, we're gonna keep them in the shed. If they're under, they're gonna go outside. And that's how, that's how this works. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Right, right, I'm hoping that's a good angle. So you just press the green button, 36.2, small. Gotcha. And then we just do this over and over again. It's going to be small, 34.8, Right, 57. Surely not. Right, this is a good one. This one's ready to go. This could go in the truck. Is that lamb? Right, 47, ready for the truck but these are all going to the rake for an extra few weeks. Okay, so far they're either under or ready to go. if I can show you another angle just to keep it interesting. We've got to move these fat lambs here um, through this gate into the other paddock um, just over here so they can have a good drink and a sit because they are going tomorrow and we need them to be um, nice and heavy. Um, they're not wanting to drink in here. I'm not sure why. There's it, every, The trough is fine. Everything's fine. They're just being really temperamental. Change of plans for those sheep. The ones that are over 45 ki uh, 46 kilo will be going to the abattoir tomorrow along with these uh, lambs out here. This is the lambs that you're eating at the supermarket. This is the size of them. They're not tiny little um, week old lambs. They are big, big they, they are fully grown. They're almost fully grown sheep. I reckon we might get a hundred or so sheep just from in what I'm working, what I'm weighing now. Dad didn't think he had that sort of weight on those sheep. If you are having lamb this Christmas, this could be them. Normally our sheep go to the United States or sometimes China. If you've watched since uh, May, you've seen them be marked, you've seen me check them every week, flies, all of that. You're now seeing the last stage in, their, in the fat lambs which is the weighing and going on the truck. If I'm around tomorrow when the sheep, when they're being loaded, I'll show that. They've walked on there by themselves, I think. I think they've over so we're gonna have to stay coming out of it. When we load the sheep for the avatar, we do it very calmly. We also don't use any dogs. 15, 16. But now that you've seen the entire process, you can make a judgment um, yourself if you want to eat lamb or not. I've just run out 60 kilo of lupins for them so they will come up and eat that when they're finished down there doing their lap of the paddock as they do. Back to weighing the lambs. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out the smaller ones from in there so they can get re-weighed and then we'll go off 46 kilo into there and then everything else out there. 50. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is what we've got. There's 50 in the back. I think there's roughly another 50 at the front. So that's a hundred. So that's a third of a truckload. Here are the lambs. They're making their way, hopefully back to their paddock. It's a 50-50 if they're gonna come, go back the same way they fucking came. I'm just gonna go down in the rav and jump in the harvester with Liam for a couple of passes and just so you guys can get that harvester content. Dad's just bringing the field bin up now to the, he's just bringing the field bin up now to that paddock, I'll show you. So field bin is a mini silo, it's portable, it's on wheels, obviously it needs to be empty for you to move it. See Kev's in the truck, we've got the case tractor out. <laughs> Dad's just arriving now. I was gonna jump in the harvester with Liam. I'll meet him over here, I think. Oh, so this is what it looks like inside the cab. There's your controls. There's what it looks like. Oh, come on. Liam just said that this is the third load out of this paddock. Um, that's pretty good. About 30 tonne of load, so how many hectares would be place? Right, so we go about we're getting about 30 tonne. I'm just gonna head home now and organize a special treat for Slug for a birthday. Because you're the birthday slug! Some people are over the top and do birthday cakes. Some people are over the top and do birthday steaks. If you don't know, I've got three dogs. I've got Cooper. Hello, darling. This is Cooper, my spoodle. Jeremy. This is Delta, the germ. And that's Slug. No, no, no. Oh, yuck. You were allowed to chew that. Lovely. You want, you want that crumb? Right, Jeremy. And Koopy. Thanks for watching. Like or typo won't give you birthday steaks. Hello members. So I had a little trip to Bunnings this morning. So I'm going to plant these while I answer, these gloves are on the wrong way, while I answer your questions.